I had never really heard of the Catholic intellectual tradition until I came to Boston College and I remember hearing you know, that phrase in class and it was strange to me. I had grown up Catholic, gone to Catholic school, and yet I had never heard of you know, the Catholic intellectual tradition. And so my interest was sparked. As a freshman, I took a class called Western Cultural Tradition. And um, in that class, we studied a bunch of different philosophers, including Aristotle, Plato. And then in second semester, we really got into Augustine and Dante. Through conversations with all these thinkers, their reflections really shed light on my own life, my own interactions with others, my own interaction with God. It just taught me so much about what it is to be human, what it is to live the human experience. And then I was able to take their reflections and to apply it to my own life. So, for example, St. Augustine talks about free will. It, that was one of the big issues in his confessions. And I had never really understood the Catholic theology behind free will, and just his reflections gave me such a clearer understanding of what it means to be a human with free will, and how um, it requires that we take responsibility for our actions and live our lives you know, with this sense of responsibility. Also, Augustine really influenced how I view my friendships with others. Um, he has such an emphasis on how God is truth and how as friends we have to lead one another to truth. And that was just really powerful for me and caused me to kind of reevaluate my relationships with others and how, and question how am I leading others to truth? How am I leading others to God? One of my favorite theologians that I was able to study last year is named Teilhard de Chardin. He talks about something called the sanctification of activity. And basically what he says is that no matter what we're doing, all of our work is part of participating in God's act of creation. And so he really opened my eyes to how no matter what I'm doing, you know, I can serve God and serve others through that work. A lot of my professors have put a huge emphasis on making connections. They don't want us to just have a narrow mindset, you know, and only doing English or only doing history or only doing theology. But my professors have done a great job at showing us the connections among fields. And so I definitely feel that my entire education is holistically, you know, forming who I am and forming my understanding of the world, my understanding of God, my understanding of others. I think that studying at a Catholic university where there is a community of faith, you know, my friends here um, and my, my fellow classmates here really challenge me uh, outside of the classroom to live out what I am learning. Just in the conversations we have in the cafeteria, in the dorms, you know, you see the things that you've learned in the classroom really making their way into the conversations and into the way people live their lives on campus outside of the classroom. Also, just you know, the Jesuit motto, men and women for others. Um, I really take that to heart as a student at a Jesuit Catholic University. And I believe that everything that I'm learning here should go towards serving others. No matter what it is I do when I graduate, I want to take the gifts I've been given here and use them to serve other people in the world. And the only way that can be done, you know, is if I take what I've learned in class and really make it my own.